Hi guys! Today I've got another makeup tutorial for you. Um, I'm only using products from End Other Stories. For those of you who don't know End Other Stories, it's a clothing store um, that as a woman you can walk in, come out and have a totally different look. So you can buy makeup, bath and body, accessories, shoes, clothing, um, the whole works. I work for Another Stories, I'm the beauty responsible in the Antwerp store, Antwerp is in Belgium. Um, and today I'm going to show you how I created this look with only products from Another Stories. So if you're interested on how to achieve this, then just keep watching. So we're going to start with a foundation. I'm going to use the Triple Moist Foundation in the number 2. And just apply it, blend it in. It's a really natural foundation um, because it's really thin, but you can, if you layer it, you can get um, a medium coverage out of it. I'm gonna bring it down my neck as well to avoid um, getting lines. When I'm done with my brush, I'm going to take my um, makeup sponge, I've wet it so it's a bit damp, and I'm just going over it to blend it in more. Then I'm taking the concealer stick in two, and I'm going to apply this under my eyes in a triangular motion. and one on the eyelid and I'm gonna blend this with the pointed side of my beauty blender the concealer is a little bit thicker than what I'm normally used to but I like it because it doesn't um, it's thick but it doesn't cake so it's a good full coverage concealer but it's not cakey Then I'm going to set all of this with um, the powder foundation in one. I'm just going to use it um, a little bit because it is a powder foundation, so it's, it is a thicker foundation, a thicker powder. Then I'm taking my contour cream, um, it's a really, it looks like a really dark color, but you can work with it. So I'm taking just um, a blush brush, an angled one, and I'm just gonna dab it in here, like this, and then I'm gonna find my cheekbones and go under it to the front and just dab it on. I like to use this me method instead of bringing it on and then blending it out because you're building it up right now instead of trying to blend it and if it doesn't work you have to do it all over again so I find this to be easier and then I kind of blend it with the same brush You really have to take your time to blend everything. So that are the cheekbones. Then I'm going to take it under my jawline to define um, my jawline. With 
With this method you can kind of hide a double chin, make it look smaller. So I'm gonna go over it, there's no product on my brush, to blend, blend, blend. And then I'm taking the same brush, I'm gonna squeeze it flat, taking some product again and I'm gonna just put it on my nose. And, uh, the sides of my nose. I'm gonna make sure that there is no product anymore on my brush. And I'm gonna blend it. You can, I mean, you can use your fingers if it's easier. Today I'm going to use the blush in Satin Magenta. It's a really pink blush. Um, so I'm gonna go for a fresh look. Um, these um, blushes are really pigmented, so make sure you just do like two taps and then really tap it off. All the excess, because otherwise you're gonna be like a clown. And then I'm just gonna apply this to the apples of my cheek, to the temples, and a bit up. Same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to start with my brows. What I'm using today is the eyebrow powder in two. And I'm just going to use a wing liner brush. Put it in here. First I'm going to comb my lashes to give them the shape that I want. And then just fill them in. want them to be pretty natural, so I'm not going to fill them in too much. Then comb them through that they're in a nice shape. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And remember, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. For the eyes, I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette in Plush Earth, and it has four beautiful earthy colors in it. As a base, I'm going to be using Cubica Mauve, which is a matte uh, light mauve color. And then to deepen the look, I'm going to use a matte brown in Burnett Brown. And we're also going to be using um, Chetland Brown, which is a rusty gold sparkly color. So we're going to start with Cubica Mauve. We're going to take a flat eye brush and just apply this um, on the eyelid. The eyeshadows are also really pigmented. So the same thing with the blush, always tap your brush off first, especially with the shimmery colors because they tend to get a little fallout if you don't tap your brush off. After that, I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go around the edges um, to soften it. Then I'm taking the darkest color out of the palette and I'm going to take a pointed fluffy brush. I'm gonna put it on my brush, tap it off. I'm going to apply it in the outer V. Just put it there, a little bit more to the middle and up in the crease. And then we're going to take that same clean fluffy brush and we're gonna blend it. I'm gonna take Chetland Brown 
and I'm going to apply this just with my ring finger. That's how I like to apply glitters because it's more opaque than if you do it with a brush. And I'm just going to put this in the middle of my eye. I'm not going to go into the tear duct. I'm just going to stay in the middle and a little bit to the back. A little bit to the outer V. Then we're taking a clean fluffy brush again and we're going over the top edges. Then I'm going to take a pointed brush um, for detailing and I'm taking the matte brown, the net brown, tapping it off. I'm going to apply this to the outer V of my eye to deepen it up some more. taking it a bit in the crease taking that fluffy brush again I'm going to darken up the crease a little bit more to the front and keep it light underneath. Then I'm going to take the lightest color in the palette with a pointed brush and I'm going to put it right at the tear duct of my eye and a little bit on the line to the inside. It just needs to like fade just like that. This is going to bring more light to your face, well to your eyes, and you will look a bit more awake. I'm going back into the Cubica Mauve and I'm taking a pointed brush, tapping it off. I'm going to apply it underneath my eye just to make it a little bit more smoky. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take the Ico mascara um, because Endodo Stories isn't is only selling blue mascara right now where I live. Um, so maybe you can find it on the internet, just a regular mascara. Um, but they also sell Ico, which is um, an English uh, brand, and it's amazing. It's really good. Um, today I'm using the I Do mascara Lengthen and Strengthen. Um, it's a really good one and I'm starting at the base and wiggling my brush upwards. Then I'm going to start on the lips. So first I'm going to use a lip liner in Tiratane Blush. Then I'm going to take my lipstick in Imperial Carmine. Um, I'm using this one because it is my favorite lipstick color from And Other Stories and because I know this suits almost every um, skin tone. So just go and check it out because it's a really nice one and it's kind of matte.